Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and today we are going to do just a quick update and a very, very small tutorial because I've gotten a few requests for this. You can see now that I am actually on my Windows computer, and I'm testing out some recording software for it, so we'll see how that works out. I want to make sure that these videos are very high quality that they're HD so you guys can see stuff. You can see that Game Maker looks a little different on the Windows because I'm using their dark green skin. I like to use this one because it hurts my eyes to use brighter stuff so that's why I use it for programming. I do a lot of programming for my job so so this is just a little this game right here that I'm showing you is a small game project that I've been working on called Grain War for the last little while and I guess I'll show you a little bit of it. I've got like some diving animations and whatnot. I can attack this little alien that follows me around. And I've got this working up with Xbox 360 controller stuff. So I'll actually do a tutorial on that here pretty soon. But the tutorial that I wanted to do today were just a small example because I can't do a lot of stuff today because I'm working on the next big project like uh, uh, if you guys were following along with the Floppy Bird game I'm working on a new game that is actually an entire game somebody asked me to do a tutorial for a game like Risk of Rain so if you have never played Risk of Rain go look it up play it there's a free demo I'm pretty sure you could go to IndieDB.com I'm pretty sure there's one there but uh Risk of Rain. We're going to make a Risk of Rain type game in the next one. I just want to get some of the sprites and resources ready for that before I actually start recording the video and doing the programming. So that will all be ready for you guys. But today what I'm going to show you how to do is once you've built a game, you want to be able to you know either sell it or let your friends play it or whatever, but you don't want them to have to have Game Maker to do that. So I'm going to show you really fast. Some of you probably already know how to do this, but I have had some people ask me, so I'm going to show you. If you go up here to File, and then you go down to Create Application, it's going to give you, oops, yeah, it's going to give you some options, and you can see, I'll just do this to the desktop for now, um, Grain War. And there's a couple different options in here. I usually just do single runtime executable and then I zip it myself. Um, there's some different options for like a Windows installer. I don't really ever use those because most people don't really care. I mean it's more of a pain to run an installer than to just run the game, right? So um, I'll save that and make sure you wait because it'll look like it's done but it's really still doing stuff. You can see down here the compiler is running stuff and it'll bring up a um, more information on that as well so let's wait for it to finish through this and it says right here compiled finished and this will be a little bit different on the Mac version as well but you should still be able to go up to file and create executable is probably what it will say instead of create application but um, once you do that we can minimize out of here and you can see I've got this icon here it's just a yo-yo games icon um, but we've got the we've got the application if I run it here it actually just runs the game so this is what you can give your friends and they won't ever have to worry about downloading Game Maker as well so uh, that's awesome thank you guys for watching this video um, like it if it helped you be sure and subscribe check out my other videos because this was just a really really quick one but it's gonna be worth it the wait for the for the next project because we're going to build a pretty awesome game together and I'm going to give you guys some more options for how you can customize the next one on your own and you won't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can kind of customize it. It will come with, I'll do some tutorials on sprite uh, work as well so you can learn how to do some better pixel art. Um, I'm not a, by means a professional but I've got some experience behind me so I can show you guys some stuff and that'll be great. So it was nice talking with you and I'll talk to you guys later.